The question three is to find volume of solids of revolution using method of disks. Here, it is similar to the question 17, and I would highly encourage all of you to go to question 17, watch it thoroughly, and then come back here. Because if you watch that video first, this will be a very easy video. Now, here you must remember two things. Is it rotated about the x-axis or the y-axis? If it is about the x-axis, that means it's like this. Even it can be y is equal to 2. That is along about the x-axis itself, okay, because it will be like that. Now, that time, it will be dx integral with respect to dx. If it's along y-axis, it's with respect to y. So, these are the two things you must remember. If you're thinking, why is it like that? Now, this is the equation. You're rotating it along the x-axis. It comes down like this. And this is the disk formed, right? Now, from the center, what is the radius? This is the radius. This radius will be y equals to, say, it will be like x squared plus 4 or something like that. So, this is what we will integrate over here. Once you get a hang of it, you'll be uh, thorough with it. So, just remember for now, x-axis means dx, y-axis means dy with respect to y. Now, let's look into a problem. Let r be the region bounded by the graphs 1 fourth x squared x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. Compute the volume of solid form by revolving r about the y-axis here. Here it's along the y-axis. That means what's the formula? That is pi integral a to b. Now here it is f of y here. We have to square it and it will be dy. This is important. Let's quickly go back to the previous page. Over here the formulas are there. You can see that's the formula. Now, I have written pi outside the integral because it's constant. That's fine. Now, you should know your, you know, whatever your figure will be something like this. Okay, because you will be rotating it along y-axis. So, this, whatever is the graph will come to the left side. If it is along x-axis, it will be down. So, we take the upper axis, positive sides. Now, y means from here to here. Uh, x is from up to down. Okay, please keep that in mind. Now, let's just draw a rough graph, not accurate graph, half x squared, one fourth x squared. So, this is a parabola, something like this, and it'll touch over here, zero. Now, x is zero, okay, that means x axis. Now, this is y is zero, this is the line, okay, and what else? Y is one. So, when y is one, we will draw a straight line, imagine this is one. Now, which is the enclosed region? This is the enclosed region. Let me just change the color. This, this, and this part. Okay, it's from zero. So, this is the graph. This is the thing. And over here, y is one year. This is zero. Now, what is happening? We are rotated in the, along y-axis. That means like this. So, what happens is this goes to the other side and it is revolved. So, that is the uh, disk form. But we don't need to know this entire figure. If we just know this part, it's enough. Because we want only radius, that is from center to one point only, right? So that is the thing. But here, can I use this equation directly? Is it possible? No, isn't it? This is the equation, f of y, right? But here we must write it in terms of y. So basically, x is equal to what? So 4 goes to the other side, it's 4y and it must be the square root on both the sides. So this is the equation which we must consider. It is square root of 4y. Now then we have to just substitute and solve it. Oh, before that, what are the intervals? This is another important thing. Now these intervals, right, are along the y-axis. 0 to 1. Why? Because they have clearly told x is 0 and y is cutting at 1, right? So that's it, 0 to 1. So the pi integral 0 to 1, over here we have root 4y, the whole square dy. Just put this in the calculator, that will be your answer. Here now we will use the integral symbol, use the brackets. 4y is not there, we just write it as x itself. I forgot to write the square root. Now it's square root 4x, I'll just delete these. Okay, and now over here, I can just write 0 and 1. And if you want, you can write pi inside over here. I'll show you. You can not inside the square over here. Pi multiplied by. The answer is 2 pi. Let me just change this out. Okay. Let me take this out and let me put it out. See over here, I'll write pi multiplied by 
and it's going to be the same answer there's no change because it's a constant you can write it inside the integral outside the integral doesn't matter as long as it's multiplied so that's the answer guys here you can see now here it's all in detail this is the graph we have to get in terms of x is equal to root 4y and now when it rotates over here you can see this is the part formed now what you can understand is this is the disk this is the radius we can solve it uh, by using the formula first writing it in terms of x here and then what are the limits it's along the y axis so y look at the y axis 0 to 1 apply everything over here the answer is 2 pi uh, okay 2 pi means pi is 3.14 multiply it two times it'll be 6.28 unit q now here then we have to just solve the method of disks the washer methods are all done so it's only the axis part now here we will draw a rough sketch for this graph it's going to be 2 minus x minus x means going downwards and 2 is the y intercept it's something like this and y is 0 that means this part x is also 0 this part so now here from this graph i can tell this is the part which we have found out and this part is 2 over here and along which axis along the x axis now that means I'm rotating along over here so what is this point here this is 0 what is this point I need to find that for the limit then only I can you know use the integral formula the formula over here now pi a to b you can write the limits f of x the whole square dx why because it's along the x-axis and now the limits are this line whatever is that so how can I find that is I need to see which are the two lines that are intersecting here which are the two lines this line is given as 2 minus x and what about this line this is y is equal to 0 right so now over here let's equate these both equations that's y equals y so it'll be 0 equals 2 minus x what's the x value x is basically 2 so this point over here is 2 so now we know the limit over here is 0 to 2 what about the f of x function that is y is equal to 2 minus x the whole square dx and pi just put it in the calculator and you'll get the answer so i've typed this equation as it is you can see it's pi integral 0 to 2 2 minus x the whole square dx just press equal to it's 8 by 3 pi or it's 8.37 so both might be the answer it's in terms of unit q so this is the answer now look at this next problem this is not the method of this this was done in the question 17 it is method of washers because you have two different uh, you know the radiuses and you have a different formula here so now we'll stick only with the first part that is method of disks what about this one over here now let's just simply graph this out y is equal to root x the square root x is something like this isn't it that's the graph and y is equal to 2 so let me just draw it a bit like this and y is equal to 2 imagine that's the line and x is 0 so x is 0 is this the line so let's just highlight the point of, uh, you know, the intersection points, the enclosed region. So that's the region. Now about the y-axis, that means along this, it will be something like this. So now this is again a disk form. Over here now, since it's along y-axis, the formula is a to b pi over here, f of y, the whole square dy. You can see this is an easy formula, whereas for the washers, it's a bit complicated. You need to find two radius and all that. For this, it's just this equation, direct substitution, nothing much in this. So now, over here, once we know this one, let's see what is the limits. 0 to what? Y is 2, so it's very easy. 0 to 2 is the limit already obtained. What is the function? But now here, you must have this as x is equal to. So square on both the sides, over here you get x is equal to y squared. So y squared, and what about dy? Just write it. Put it in the calculator and you'll get the answer. You don't even need to, you know, do the detailed graph or anything. That's the answer over there. I just realized I forgot to square it up. Over here the square, because I, I wrote y squared, I just forgot it. It's really y squared, the whole square. So I put it in the calculator. This is the answer. It's 32 by 5 pi or 20.1. 
So you can see 32 by 5 pi is the answer here. That's it. And here, this is by the method of washes, which is already done in question 17. Now here then, see, whenever you're rotating along any of these points, this becomes a washer problem. When it's along X or Y axis, it'll be a disk problem. You're only dealing with disk problem. Now both the things are there, so let's do it. The formula for Y axis is pi A to B F of Y whole square dy. And what about this? It will be same thing. Pi integral a to b f of x now whole square dx. Now then, the region are bounded by this region over here. This is the equation. It's graph is given, so it's much easier. But you can see 4 is the intercept and minus 2y minus slope, it goes down and touches over here. Now, if you want to find the intersecting point, you can just equate the lines and also find it. Now, when it's rotated along the y-axis, what happens is it's like a triangle that is formed. Now, then we need the equation as x. So, rearrange this. x is equal to, over here it will be 2x. We'll take to the other side. It will be 4 minus y. x is equal to 4 minus y divided by 2. This is in terms of x for the first one. But what is the limit? 0 to 4, right? Pi integral 0 to 4. Over here, we have 4 minus 1 divided by 2, the whole square dy. Put in the calculator, you get for the y-axis. What about the x-axis? We will take the same equation, 4 minus 2x directly. Sorry, it's x. The whole square, don't forget the square. What is the integral limit? 0 to 2 over here, because it's this one. For y, it's along the y-axis. For x-axis, it's along x-axis itself. 0 to 2, pi. Put it in the calculator now both of these equations and that will be answers. In order to substitute, press this integral symbol, type it out 4 minus, now use the fraction symbol divided by 2 and minus, variable is only x. Now close the brackets and square it up. And then what are the limits? It's 0 to 4 and over here you need to write pi as well. You can write multiplication symbol or no need, it is already multiplied. So the first answer is 16 pi by 3. What about the second one? Over here only I'll just do the rearrangements. No, it's better I write it again because over here there is no fraction now. It'll be 4 minus 2x. Close the bracket and square it up. And the limits are from 0 to 2 over here. 0 and 2. And we have to write a pi. Even if you put multiplication, it's fine. It's 32 by 3. That's the answer. 32 pi by 3. And these are all washer problems, two radiuses are involved. So this is how we can solve easily for method of disks. And you can do check the answers over here for the washer and it's also done in the question 17. And now this one over here, similar problem again, we will just do the graph quickly. It's only the first and the second one, x and y axis, A forms the method of disks. First graph this parabola. A rough sketch is enough. Y is equal to X squared. If that is not a good one. Okay, something like this. It should touch the over here zero point. Y is zero. So Y, Y is zero is this. And X is one. So X is one is somewhere over here. So this much we know. Now let's highlight the point of consideration. This point over here. This and this. So when it is revolved al along the y-axis what happens it cannot be considered why because it will be a hollow so now if you just look into this the first one you will have radius two radiuses this is the washer problem so my, i'm sorry for that i thought it's going to be y-axis but no but x-axis yes it's going to be a disk problem why because when you revolve around x-axis this is going to come down and be a disk now this is the radius so let's solve this. The formula is 0 to a, sorry, a to b, limit, pi is outside, f of x, the whole squared dx. Now, what is the equation given? It's already in terms of x. So it write x squared, the whole squared dx. What is the limit now? This is how much? 0. What is this line? We have the line at 1. Already we know the limit, 0 to 1, pi. 
put this in the calculator and that will be the answer. Now I've typed this equation as it is in the calculator and the answer is 1 by 5 pi or it can be 0 0.63 unit cube. So that will be the answer over here. You can see it's pi by 5 is same as 1 by 5. Now over here, let's do this one. Let's do C. Why? Because C will be also method of disk. Now I will just uh, erase a little bit. I'll just remove this part. This is just a rough sketch over here. Now x is equal to 1 means this line, right? The x is equal to 1 line. If we revolve around this line, what's going to happen? This will be something like this. It's going to be a disk again. And this is the radius now. Here, what will be the limit? Now, a very important thing to remember, when you have x is equal to y, this is along y-axis itself, parallel to y-axis, right? So you must have the equation x is equal to in terms of y. So what is x is equal to square root y? This is not the equation which we will directly use. The formula is a to b pi f of y squared dy, right? Now, what are the limits? What is the limit along the y-axis? It's over here, 0. What is this point? Now, which are the two lines that touch over here? That is x is equal to 1. And what are the other thing? That is basically over here, this one, right? y is equal to x squared. Now, here, please remember, we are not finding the x-axis. We have to find y values. So we have to take these both equations, x is equal to 1, and get this in terms of x. What it was, x is equal to root y, right? Now we will equate x is equal to x, so we can solve root y is equal to 1. What is y is equal to? Take the square on both the sides. y is equal to 1. So this point is basically y is 1. And if you know the graph of y is equal to x squared parabola, at 1 over here, the y value is also 1, because it will be... 1 squared, it's 1 itself. So now the limits we got 0 to 1, pi. This is dy. What is the equation that we need to square? Now here, this is very important. I will just uh, draw the graph over here. It's like this, right? Now we are not at 0. See, this is the 0 point. We are not over there. We are over here now. From here to here, what is happening now from this axis what is exactly happening you can see that it is one total is one right because that is the distance here but that subtracts subtracted by this part because we are to one is more one minus what one minus this equation will be there so if you're looking at the bottom yes it's entirely one but if you're coming up what is the radius 1 minus this equation, isn't it? So if you only look at the bottom, it's at full 1. Then it will start reducing by little, little, little. That's why what we do is 1 minus this particular equation. Based on this equation, we have to reduce it. So the equation becomes 1 minus what is x? It is root y. Now this is the formula that is formed. Now all you need to do is substitute this over here. It is same limits. But over here it is changing, that will be 1 minus root x, because we can't put in y, and that's the answer. That's the whole square, and the answer is at 0 0.5235. Now you might be thinking, why we are not getting pi by 6, but I'll show you, this is same as pi by 6. So 0 0.5235, right? If I have pi divided by 6, what is the answer? It is 0 0.5235. So it's the same thing. It's equivalent and that's the answer. But to understand exactly how it works, a basic sketch is required and then based on your understanding which axis it's rotating, understand these, these points, write the formula and the equation. So that's how we can solve it. All the others are washer problems. You can see there are two values to be subtracted. Even though we have this minus this, so therefore there are two values. And here also, please to try it by yourselves, at least this one, because the equations are simple as well. And then you can just compare over here. These are all the answers. Now, over here, since the line is 1, all these are washer problem, B, C, and D, you can see. Only A is the disk problem. And the disk problem are the easiest of all. That's the end of the question 3. Please try to graph a simple sketch, understand which axis it's being rotated, 
then write the formula, put in the equations, and then solve it up.